Did you know that every time your child turns on a cartoon, their brain is actually getting wired? I have another question for you. Do you know that their brain is getting wired with positive messaging or might it be getting wired with negative messaging? In this episode, I am going to tell you exactly what is happening in your child's brain every time they turn on the TV, they play a video game, or they watch a video on the internet, all right? And I am going to give you some crazy statistics, right? They are going to blow your mind about how much violence is in cartoons on the internet. It is going to floor you, all right? I am Dr. Darlene Mayo. I am a neurosurgeon and a neuroscientist, and I help high achievers reach peak performance of mind, body, and spirit using unique techniques in neuroscience so you can unlock your full potential. All right, let's get down to it, all right? Every time your child turns on the TV, there is a part of their brain called the mirror neuron network that is getting activated. Now, the name is not important. What's happening is, all right, this part of the brain thinks that whenever you see somebody doing an action, like let's say jumping rope, your brain starts to think that you're actually doing it too. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that amazing? So it's a useful part of the brain because this is how babies learn to walk, right? And move and they learn facial expressions and they learn empathy. So it's a very useful part of the brain. Here's the thing though, if you're not very careful about what you're watching, what you're putting in front of your eyes, what your child is watching, this part of the brain can actually be really, really damaging. So let's say your child is watching a cartoon and there's some violence in there, right? Like one of the characters gets killed, run over. Their brain is starting to get programmed for violence, right? Their brain is starting to think, oh, this character is doing it. So they think they are doing it. This is absolutely incredible, right? Here is the other thing. Every time they watch these things over and over again, that pathway gets reinforced over and over and over. And eventually, this pathway starts to form like the equivalent of a paved highway. And once that forms, it is really, really hard to break that down and start programming their brain for positive messaging, all right? So in every episode, I like to give you a resource that I think will be very helpful for you that is pertinent to the message, all right? So I have a wonderful free resource. It is called the High Achievers Peak Performance Guide. And here is what is in this guide, all right? There is a 10-minute routine that you can do every day yourself and with your children. I do this every single day with my kids. And it will help fill their brain with positive messaging from the beginning of the day. It will make them more likely to want to choose positive messaging the way the brain works. Works. It's beginning to do this. We're forming good, positive pathways in the brain, right? It's so simple and it's super fun, okay? It involves music, it involves dancing, and it is absolutely incredible. So I wanted to share that guide with you. All right, let me tell you some statistics. I told you there were some really scary statistics out there, right? Cartoons have between 20 to 25 violent acts per hour in each cartoon. Is that crazy? 46% of TV violence actually occurs in cartoons. That's more than on primetime TV. It is crazy, right? So every time your child is watching a cartoon, if you are not watching it with them, if you are not sure what they are watching, there is a high chance that there is violence in there. And the more violence that is in there, the more that their brain is getting programmed for violence, okay? There are other studies. The FBI actually did this study that showed that the increase in school shootings was linked to the increase of violence in children's programming, all right? So there have been studies by the American Family of Physicians, right, that have studied this, have shown not only does watching violence increase the likelihood that your child could be violent, right? But also it inhibits their performance at school 
there was a study out of Great Britain that showed that every hour that your child spends watching TV, playing a video game, or maybe downloading something from the internet, that it actually lowered their performance on their scholastic achievement test. Now, standardized tests are obviously not the be all and end all, but those numbers still have to make you stop and take notice. Here's the other thing. Every hour they spent doing their homework and doing reading, then they were that much more likely to have a better performance on their achievement test, all right? So here's another thing that is absolutely incredible to me, okay? On YouTube, there are these videos of cartoons that are supposedly safe right? Like things like Peppa Pig or Mickey Mouse that you know have very little violence in them. People have taken these cartoons and have manipulated them to have violence in them. On YouTube, there is a cartoon of Peppa Pig and the little pigs with um, automatic rifles. Yes, going out and like killing things. There is a video on YouTube of Mickey Mouse drinking bleach. You know, you have to be super careful about what your children are watching. Even if you think it is safe, it may not be safe. Here's the other thing. These first person video games that your children are playing, these first person shooter games that are so popular, right? These war games that they play. Uh, the zombie games that they play. All right, so not only is the mirror neuron network coming into play here, all right, but the fact that it is a first person viewpoint actually activates the mirror neuron network even more strongly than if they were just watching somebody else shoot somebody on that screen, okay? Every time they do that, it is just paving that highway even more. So this is really scary, folks. We are gonna be talking about on my Facebook Live coming up, what are five things that you as a parent can do to make sure that your child is getting positive messaging from the media that is in front of their eyes, right? So I know you're gonna be interested in that, so please join me on my Facebook page, Darlene A. Mayo, MD, and we will be talking more in detail about all of this, the neuroscience behind what's happening in your child's brain. We're gonna be talking about the five things you can do to help ensure positive messaging, right? And we're gonna be doing some Q&A, so I know you will look forward to joining us there. In the meantime, please download my High Achievers Peak Performance Guide. Start this simple 10-minute routine with your children every single day. So simple, so fun, and it will begin wiring your child's brain for positivity and for success. All right, so thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, please like it, please share it, and please place a comment below. Here is your question of the week. What are you as a parent doing to ensure that your child gets positive messaging?